Nigerian genius. My name is Atayru Zubri from Federal Investor of Technology, Mina. My name is Roima Alayaki from Federal Investor of Technology, Mina. My name is Abdullahi Adeyemi Asimi from Federal Investor of Technology, Mina. We were asked to build furniture and the materials given were so to speak, cell tape, cotton wool and that's all. The task for today is to make any furniture of your choice using toothpicks. Okay, so you're making a toothpick furniture because it has to be miniature, whatever furniture you decide to make. But let it be, don't tell me this is a table and I look at it and it doesn't look like a table. <laughs> Do you understand? So let it be something that I can easily define once I see it, even though it's a miniature pattern. Okay, let it be stable too, as much as possible. And let it be creative. You know, it speaks of your ingenuity. As usual, you have five minutes to plan, 25 minutes to execute. Initially, the task was quite intimidating, given the fact that we are giving to kids to make the furniture. But then along the line, we were able to come up with something and it later worked out. So initially, we wanted to actually construct the chair but then we were running out of time and it wasn't going to be stable so we later changed the design to a sun lounger and it came out pretty well and everything was fine at the end. To bring the skills to people in different parts of the country who watch you know, the show will learn engineering essential industry um, skills, advanced engineering skills. We also hope that the show will inspire um, Nigerians to venture into indigenous manufacturing. By the time they see the possibilities around here, they see the advanced engineering skills, and then they see the precision manufacturing equipment, they begin to have more hope in the capacity of Nigerians and Nigerian engineers to meet the needs of the industry and then we hope that this will inspire more and more people to go into manufacturing. We also hope that um, this will also inspire young people, millions of young people in primary schools, in secondary schools to begin to aspire to become engineers, future engineers and by so doing we will increase the population of um, engineers and technologies in Nigeria. dive into electronics. One, one of the things we learned today was um, the use of computer-aided design for PCB. So we learned how to design simple electronic circuits and internal to embedded systems. And we're also able to use the CNC PCB and um, CNC drilling machine to design our very first PCB board. With designed PCB before but we've never had the opportunity to use a CNC machine. We've always been doing our PCB manually and drilling with hand. But using this machine we we're able to have the experience of automation and it's actually came out very very well. CIS is really doing a great job by bringing students close to the industry by teaching them how to use all these machines and equipment. I think every student in Nigeria deserves this because if you want to graduate and get a good job in the industry, you need these skills because no one will employ without these skills. So I think CIC is really doing a great job by bridging the gap between the academia and the industry. They are doing a great job. Mostly. We hope you support and vote for us. We are out there doing our best. We hope you enjoy what we are presenting to you. And we promise not to disappoint you and just support us. Thank you.